Yeah. All right. So Melissa has no idea why she's here. Oh well, she thinks she's here to meet with me to discuss the PTK program. Yeah. <laughs> but I am happy to say Melissa has been selected to receive a Jack Kent Cook Foundation Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship. Woo! <laughs> one of 90 scholars selected this year to achieve uh, to receive this award the scholarship is intended to cover a significant share of the students educational expenses including tuition living expenses books and required fees for the final two or three years necessary to achieve her bachelor's degree awards vary by individuals based on the cost of tuition as well as other grants or scholarships that may receive the scholarship could be up to forty thousand dollars so congratulations, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa truly has been one of our shining stars here at Daytona State College, so none better to receive this award. So I really, you know, on behalf of the college, uh, I want to recognize our board chair, uh, Trustee uh, Freckleton here. Uh, you know, we're very proud of her, Trustee Freckleton. She's done a great job representing the school, and uh, again, Melissa, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I actually didn't think I won this scholarship because I hear about it and I can't believe it's really happening right now. I'm not off for words. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa is an awesome leader. She always rises to the occasion. She, you know, was just great. She stepped up as PTK president. She, you know, is an awesome scholar. She is a hard worker and she's dedicated to both the college, PTK, and her own studies. And that's a hard thing to do and balance a job. And I see greatness in everything she does uh, and her next step in life and her future. She's going to do awesome. Um, I'm really honored that I had the, the opportunity to win this scholarship. It means so much to me and my family. Um, <laughs> Try not to cry, especially since you know my mom you know, worked really hard by herself to raise me, and she wouldn't be able to afford to send me to college, let alone law school. So the fact that I'll be able to have this scholarship means that I can focus on my studies and not work 35 hours a week like I do now, including all of the uh, extracurricular activities that I have. When I go to Gainesville, I'll be able to get an internship, uh, work a little less to focus on my studies and go to law school, hopefully, you know, be a civil rights lawyer and hopefully start my own nonprofit, not uh, my own uh, legal firm and, you know, help people all over the country. Gosh. <laughs> the faculty, all the people I met here, all of my friends, uh, everyone in PTK and SGA where I started out. Uh, my great advisors, the faculty, uh, the board, the foundation that helped me, uh, you know, build my leadership, my character, my, uh, my academic work. Uh, Melissa is one of those students we hope for. She has a work ethic that's not to be not to be missed and she just brings a high quality to everything that she does. She's a delightful kid with a terrific sense of humor, very involved in the life of the college and I couldn't be prouder of her. Um, I especially want to thank my favorite professor, uh, Trey Orndorff. He was the one that got me into political science. I didn't really, I knew I wanted to be a lawyer. I just didn't know how I was going to do it and how I was going to make a difference until I was able to meet the great professors here that helped me uh, lay out my path. Hey, I'm Dr. Harold Orndorff, and I am Melissa's professor of political science. And uh, she and I actually worked on a paper together, and we took it to the Florida Political Science Association on democratization. She has been my most outstanding student, without a question, and the first one to ever have actually already made, as an undergraduate, uh, an academic achievement uh, of the magnitude of something published. And so this is just kind of a topper for that. I look forward to seeing what she does next.